Hello, my name is Pandora. Welcome to this short tutorial on how to fit text to a path in the Pazzle Inspiration Studio. So I have the Pazzle Inspiration Studio open. I selected a page size for 12 by 12 and I'm now going to select the circle tool. If I click and drag, I might get an oval, but if I, since I actually want a circle, if I now hold the shift key down, no matter how far I click and drag, as long as I let go of the mouse first and then the shift key, I'll get a perfect circle. I'm going to collect my Select Elements tool and just move that across into the centre of the page, more or less. Deselect by clicking anywhere else and click on the Basic Type tool. I've decided to use this Huxley Vertical BT Regular, quite a long name for quite a simple, simple type. And what I'm going to type in is Welcome to the world. This is a frame for a photograph that I want to put on a scrap page. Now one of the things you need to understand is that this text will wrap around the circle. So how do we do that? Well first of all you make sure that the text and the circle are selected. Since the text is already selected you can simply click on the shift, holding the shift key down and it will select the circle as well and you can tell because the selection boxes are all around the edge or you can click and drag and that will select both. Come up now to text, click on text and then click on fit text to path. That will bring this particular dialog box up and we have some options. The position refers to the top, bottom, left or right of the instrument you can click on this checkbox and that will allow you to put the text inside the object. Selecting this option will actually flip the text. These are alignment boxes. The first one is the alignment adjustment, which actually allows you to change the adjustment of the spacing between the words. The second box is the spacing adjustment and that changes the space of the text in relation to the path it wraps around. So let's see what happens. I'm going to simply leave it at the top and click on apply and you can see that the words have wrapped around and that's quite nice. In the bottom right hand corner you may be able to see this arrow and this allows you to actually adjust the spacing of the text around the object. So if I click and drag you can see that what I'm able to do with this is to actually drag the words so they come further around and that's quite a useful feature. What we want to do now is I actually want to separate this text away from the frame because I want to use the inner line as a cutting line and I can do that in a couple of ways but one of the easiest ways is to come down to the spacing adjustment and if I simply click upwards can you see it's now put a 0.25 gap of the text around the words and actually I think that looks rather nice, so I'm going to leave it like that. The very last option in this box is to break the text and the path. And that enables you to treat the two things separately, which is quite useful. So let's click on that. And why would I want to treat the two things separately? Well, I actually want to use the inner circle to cut with. So I'm going to come across here and right click on my color picker so that when I go to the cut project, I'm able to say, I actually want you to do different things with this. The text is in black and I intend to use the pen tool in order to have this written for me. Whilst I've got the inner circle selected, what I've decided to do would be quite nice to have an outer circle also used by the pen tool. So in order to do that I'm going to come across to the star or the inline outline box on the left hand side and bring up this particular dialog box. Now I can see by looking at the grid line that these letters are one, one and a half maybe from the um, edge of my circle. So I'm going to enter 1.6 and I can see that that actually works quite well. If it doesn't work well, you can simply come back in and change this particular area. Because I'm quite happy with my result, I'm going to click on the ticks, the tick and then close that box. Now again, what I want to do is I want to use the pen tool on this rather than a cutting line. So I'm going to simply select the outside circle, come across, 
right click and change it to the same color as the pen. Some people actually prefer to use a green color to match the pen. You can do that if you want to, it'll match the pen tool. Now before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is click and drag around the whole element. I'm going up to shape and click on group. Now the reason for doing that is, should I wish to move it somewhere else on the page and or if I simply want to resize it to make it either smaller or bigger, I know that the whole object will resize in one go.